He used my name. There was never a formal or informal agreement on my part or even a suggestion that he should submit to me. Yet down there, he constantly said, Ernie Groon's my best friend. I talk to Ernie all the time. I submit to him, which is all a fabrication. The evidence of that is we had a charismatic pastor's fellowship at Horse Creek, all the city pastors. And again, I was still in the receiving stage, and I let him teach. In the middle of his message, he began to teach that apostles could not be married and could not own property, that prophets could be married but couldn't own property. In other words, prophets could not own property but could be married, apostles neither one. At which point I interrupted him and said, that's Roman Catholicism, that's false teaching, that's heresy. Instead of him recanting that, he then later said, well, I didn't say that. But one of his own staff, when we had a meeting, said, Mike, you did say it, and you didn't say it hypothetically. So he wasn't in summation at all. First time we disagreed on what I considered a major point of heresy, there was the absence of submission. So we went to the Matthew 18 stage, where I went to lunch with him, confronted him, and it accomplished nothing. Basically, there's no problem. All smiles. So I jumped at a step, get two or three brothers, probably 15 people, about six people from KCF. It was a terrible meeting. In alluding to the Horse Creek thing, where I sat him down, he said to my face, you touched me illegally. And people that touch me illegally, bad things happen to them, things like death. Other people who touch me illegally have died. I could not imagine a worse meeting. I was so upset that I could not even discuss it with my wife for three days. I was upset spiritually and emotionally. When I told my wife what he had said and how I felt like I'd been threatened with death, she said, you're kidding. He walked out of that room, walked down the hall, was all smiles and said, your husband's one of the neatest men of God I've ever met. She said, that's why I didn't ask you any questions. I assumed you were best friends. 